All right, so um, as you may or may not know, I am doing some hill climbs. Uh, it's a very UK sort of style of thing where basically you have very short hill climbs, longest ones probably only 20 minutes, maybe. Most of them are more like five minutes or less. Um, so we've got a couple of these, both like two minutes, four minute efforts. Uh, then this is like a, uh, how long is it? A two minute climb, two minute climb. Uh, this is a four minute effort. I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing that. I might be doing the one which is um, sort of the same course as the nationals. Then we've got Uni of Bristol, three minutes. Bath Hill Climb, two minutes. Um, this is like as in roughly, I mean, and then we have this one, five to six minutes, so I'm gonna enjoy that. And Burrington Coombe, seven to eight minutes. These two, I'm not 100% sure. I might, maybe instead of this one, I might do um, a different one, which is shorter. I'm not 100% sure. And then the Nationals, which is on the Shirley Walsh Motor Racing Circuit, which I have up here. 900 meters, 12%, and this is the Nationals, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I haven't done the Nationals before, really. I haven't done a proper hill climb season. I did want to, I mean, two years ago I did like three or four, but not really. This year I'm going to do like 10 or so, and that should be good. So you can see Matt Clinton has the KOM at 566 watts for 2 minutes 40, and I'd say he wouldn't weigh more than 65. I'm not 100% sure on his weight, but it's sort of like 9 watts per kilo, more or less, um, maybe a little bit more than that for about 2 minutes 40, which is just off the chart. Uh, so anyway... We're gonna look at some training that I've been doing. So I haven't really done doing, I mean, if you follow me on Strava, so I had a couple of weeks off. Um, my Strava's down below if you wanna follow me. It's always always good to get some more followers, uh, see what the old man's doing. But anyway, so I was away in Colombia for a bit, didn't really do much. I haven't been doing much structured training. As you can see, there's been like no structured workouts. Um, but anyway, I decided I need to actually start doing some tr structured training, get back into the regime of absolutely killing myself. So I did some good intervals here. I just created this myself. I was a bit too ambitious, so it's gonna be five minutes on, uh, sorry, five times one minute on about 500 watts and then five minutes in between to make sure I got a real good recovery. Because the thing with these hill climb efforts is that you're not tired when you do them. It's not like a road race where maybe you have like six, five minute, like you're going up a climb six times in a five minute effort. So you have to be really good like at the end of a race. There's, there's not like that. You just need to hit the really high numbers to get that peak um, adaption. So there's no point doing these efforts if you're tired because you just can't hit the numbers you need to. You have to be really motivated and fresh. And then I had four minutes, uh, two, four times two minutes. This is a little hard. It wasn't really going to happen. And then my last one just, you know, it didn't happen, the three-minute efforts. So anyway, we'll go on to the training peaks analysis thing and see some of my laps. Um, so anyway, you can see we just warmed up here, did a nice, nice half an hour warm-up. Uh, and then, yep, we did 59 seconds uh, at an average power of 497 watts, which is pretty much my goal. Um, and then you can see, we'll keep scrolling down. Uh, the next effort was this one, uh, which is lap number five, 504 watts for one minute, which is exactly what we wanted. Then we have the next one, which is 521 watts. Oh, and no, that's disappeared. This, this lap thing is about useless. I might use Strava instead, potentially. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just use Strava. The Strava laps is far easier than training peaks sometimes. So anyway, 500 watts for the first one, 514 for the second one. You can see sometimes I'm a little bit over. 500 watts for the third one, 516 watts um, for the fourth one, and for the last one, 513 watts. So you can see on these thorns, I was trying to be relatively consistent. Here I sort of went up to 650, 700, and then really died at the end. But generally, you know, they weren't too bad. Some of these, my pedals were clipping out, but I managed to sort out my pedal issue now. Thanks to Louis, managed to provide me with the carbon cleat on the back of the look pedal. So anyway, do make sure you follow me on Strava to go see my training. Uh, and then we decided that it was time to have a rest. So 17 minutes of just literally doing nothing. And you can see in between each of these, we had five to six minutes rest to make sure I was really, really fresh. And um, these one minute efforts didn't hurt that much, apart from the last one really hurt. The I mean, they hurt, but they're not like going balls to the walls. Apart from this one, I, I really did cry quite a lot at the end. Then I had one minute 24 at 390 watts, but I just I just gave up. I should have done a two minute effort, but I was just crying. Then I had a really long break. Um, not not really sure why, I don't need to go into the loo and all the rest of it, but anyway, that wasn't ideal. The next one I hit 385 watts, which again, you can see here, I sort of like went out quite hard, died, because just when, actually I can't put my finger on the screen, just here, it flattens off Swain's Lane a little bit, and it's hard to hold the power, you can see it goes down to 275, and then onto this steep, but I was really just trying to um, hurt myself quite a lot. Next one was 392 watts. That This was like my two solid intervals, actually. And then I tried to do like a two minute effort and just failed at 42 seconds. So you can see, uh, I completed some of it. I did my one minute efforts well, but my two minute efforts really sucked. I think I was just probably feeling a little tired. And then I think I did one more one minute at 425 watts. And I was trying to basically do this 
try and get the, well not get a KOM but just get a good segment up here it would have been up three minutes but I just I just wasn't feeling it but anyway it was all good solid training did enjoy um so yeah I think with these ones it's like you just need to do super super high intensity and also look at this weighted average power 207 normalized power normalized power we'll go back on this one 200 and where is it 250 so you can see the Strava one is really not very accurate for those short efforts it's better on the longer efforts sometimes it's you know it's more or less the same but um the normalized power on the short ones i i, I trust a lot more than the Strava's one because it definitely felt like 250 normalized not 206 but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this little video about my hill climb efforts. Um, if you're doing hill climbs, let me know. Um, I post the ones I'm going to do uh, probably. I got into the Lovello Cinelli RT one, so I'm pretty happy about that. And the Dover Hills, the Dover one I should get in as well, I believe. The Nationals, I, I need to qualify for the Nationals, so I need to get probably top 10 in one of them, which I, sh I should be able to do. Um, especially ones at the beginning of the season, not as many people enter them. People's fitness isn't as good. But yeah, we've got quite a long time to peak, so I'm pretty pretty content about two months more or less to uh, get into top top condition hit maybe 500 530 watts for two minutes 40 potentially will that happen I don't know uh, but I learned quite a lot this uh, this video always goes on I always say thanks for watching and then keep on rambling on but anyway I think what I noticed on this one is my one minute power is actually not that bad my five minute power is not too bad either but in between it's just not I mean like if you really look we can look at my power curve and see some top secret things here um, uh, 2018, you can see, well, I actually, mm, 2018, fine. Um, but anyway, one minute power, 504. My best ever was in 2016, 550, but that was actually part of the urban hill climb. It wasn't um, a one minute power. So I think my one minute power is probably more like 650, 630, something like that. So around 10 watts per kilo, more or less. Um, and then you can see here, 2016, I did some hill climbs, hit like 430 for two minutes. But to be honest, like, I mean, you can see here, I didn't even hit better in 2017. 2018, I'm up to 440, but I mean, I should be, I, for two minutes, I really need to be close to 500. So you can definitely see here, there's not a huge drop in this part here between five minutes and one minute. Um, and I think there really should be because for like four minutes, I've held 420 watts, right? So you think for three minutes, I should be able to help hold like 450, two minutes, like 470, 490. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And I think for five minutes, you can see this huge drop from 420 for like four minutes to five minutes, 395. So I think, again, five minutes, I wanna hold 420 to 430 watts, hopefully. Um, in terms of my weight, I'm down one kilo now. So I was at 63 when I came back from Thailand, I'm now at 62. Uh, so by the, in two months time, I should be down, get down to 60. Um, especially like just before races, like you can do stuff where you just don't really eat that much, which is obviously is an advice, but because it's such a short effort, you don't need any glycogen, you can just, cut all the salt out of your diet if possible. Um, so then you lose a lot of water weight. You don't really need to drink that much on the day. On the day, like, I mean, you, there's a lot of ways to lose weight very short term. So you could maybe drop two kilos in a very short period. But anyway, if I'm around 60 kilos, that will be fine. 63, I'd be too heavy, but I think 60 kilos will be fine uh, for these hill climbs. I mean, my goal for the year is 57, but it's not gonna happen. But anyway, 60 kilos, hopefully do about 530 watts, uh, about eight, eight to nine watts per kilo, hopefully for about two, three minutes. <laughs> We will see. Will it be too much? I don't know. But these hill climbs, you can go really hard because you're not holding anything back. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video.